हेलो लेडीज एंड जेंटमैन दिस इज अंबर प्रिय राज एंड दिस इज गोइंग टू बी एन ऑल टूगेदर डिफरेंट काइंड ऑफ अ वीडियो इन दिस पर्टिकुलर वीडियो आई एम गोइंग टू प्रोवाइड यू विद अ स्पेसिमन ग्रुप डिस्कशन व्हिच कम्स अंडर द ग्रुप टास्क दैट इज आल्सो कॉल्ड एज जी टी ओ एंड द टॉपिक इज शुड वी एनकरेज लव मैरिजेज और अरेंज मैरिजेज इन आर कंट्री द वॉइस ओवर इन दिस वीडियो इज गिवन बाई मी ओनली सो लेट्स गेट स्टार्ट before initiating the group discussion it is significant to know and to hear the gto's briefings clearly so he will tell you something like this in this case well gentlemen since sooner or later all of you are going to face the dilemma of marriage i'm sure you would like to discuss the merits of love marriage versus marriage arranged by the parents let us hear your views on the subject and with these final words the candidates will initiate the group discussion in an appropriate manner Gentlemen, I must confess that I am strongly in favor of young people choosing their own partners in life, because I believe that that is how nature intends it to be, and that is how nature operates in all other animals and birds. I think marriage is a relationship of love and companionship, and should be treated as such to produce the best result. When the parents have a say in the matter of marriage, they often get sidetracked by other considerations like money, family connections, status, caste, etc. Gentlemen, allow me to say that I don't entirely agree with the views just expressed. I feel that on the contrary, parents are better qualified to select suitable life partners for their children because their choice is bound to be more rational and mature. It is well known that love is blind. and most people in love usually do not stop to consider whether the person they adore is also capable of making a success of married life in their case passion takes an upper hand over sound judgment therefore i am strongly of the opinion that the selection of a life partner should be left to more mature judgment friends this may be true but i think marriage is a gamble either way after all when parents decide a relationship they are seldom in a position to know the girl well enough i mean they can only know about the family background and outward appearance of the girl her educational attainments her other apparent accomplishments like proficiency in household affairs as cooking knitting and tailoring but they cannot be aware of her personality traits you would agree with me that it is her basic temperament and inherent nature which leads to the success or otherwise of her married life rather than her apparent qualities like looks and bearing or even her family connections therefore i would stress that young men and women should be allowed to select partners of their choice suiting each other's temperament gentlemen i do not agree with the opinion expressed by candidate number 3 i am convinced that family connections certainly do influence a person's character and temperament girls coming from families which have learned to live together in harmony are certainly likely to make better wives isn't it a well known fact that children brought up in broken homes develop their own psychological problems and their poor marriage risks my friends it seems we are assuming straight away that only parents can consider all aspects before deciding on a relationship and young men just pick up for a wife the first girl they come across when they are grown up that is far from truth what makes you think that a young man or girl will not take full stock of the situations before embarking on a love affair all young men and women are not like the typical hero or heroine of the indian films who has to convert his or her first love affair into a marriage in an atmosphere of free love a young man ought to fully understand his girlfriend before proposing to her and during the courtship he has the best opportunity to study his girlfriend he can always break off he finds if he finds that the girl is not likely to make a good wife also the girl has the choice to accept or reject a suitor gentlemen i think success in marriage is a matter of chance either way we have seen failures even in love marriages and let us not forget that our fathers and grandfathers and their forefathers had all enjoyed arranged marriages and surely our culture and society is none of the worse for it this new found clamor for love marriage is merely the influence of western films and culture on our life i am therefore firm in my opinion that arranged marriages are best suited for our country 
friends i wish to emphasize that much can be said on both sides but this argument on love marriage versus arranged marriage is gradually losing its point because in the modern society the segregation of sexes has become less strict and many wise parents encourage their grown up children to mix freely with members of the opposite sex not only that they even educate them about the qualities to look for in the spouses they might choose also since the custom of child marriage is more or less disappearing and most young men and women are marrying only when they are in early 20s or late teens they are able to have a fair say in the choice of their partners in fact in most cases the boy and girl have the full consent of their parents for their developing friendship this in my opinion is the ideal situation well the ideal situation that my friend has described just now is not what we can call all look forward to So let us keep the prevailing conditions in view and be realistic. Whatever be the merits and demerits of the so-called love marriage, it has come to stay. The point is that with the break of the joint family system, with the spread of education and greater employment facilities for women, it is inevitable that the parental influences should diminish. Hence, young people in future are bound to be more and more free in the choice of their spouses at least in the towns and cities. I therefore suppose the best thing for the young people would be generally to respect the wishes of the elders while deciding to go study with their friends of the opposite sex and perhaps the best thing for the elders would be to take it easy and relax in the changed society they should prefer the role of marriage counselors to that of the matchmakers gentlemen after all these discussions the fact remains that success in marriage is more a matter of good luck and an unsuccessful marriage is a misery as much for the man as for the lady love marriage or arranged marriage the net result of the event as far as the man is concerned is lifelong slavery for him i can't forget george bernard shaw's best advice to young men contemplating marriage stay out of it as long as you can and having taken his advice i'm glad that not only do i hope to remain a free man i don't even have to be worried about the pros and cons of a love marriage Well thank you my friend for giving a light touch to the discussion I for one I'm going to marry as soon as I can reasonably support a wife and I intend to marry for one and only consideration and that is love God bless you and I hope you will not regret it All right gentlemen I think we have had a very lively discussion thank you very much we will now switch over to another subject